In today's tutorial, we are going to deal with a JavaScript problem that was presented by one of our Patreon viewers. We're going to look at how we can add dynamic data to a regular expression. Not a simple solution unless you know the trick. Before we get started, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe and remember the discount links to all my courses in the description. Also, my website has a list of all the tutorials I've published. There are over 200 now. I'm glad today's problem was posted by one of our Patreon supporters. It caused me to look at a problem I have not had to deal with. So let me set up the scenario here. This is the one we're going to tackle. Let's say you have a text string of data that you need to apply a regular expression to. Well, that part is simple enough. But what if you needed the regular expression to be dynamic, meaning that the regular expression could change based on some data received from a database or from user input or from some other data in your program? How would you go about creating that regular expression with that dynamic data so it would work? That is what we're going to look at. Now, before we jump in, let me mention that if you are unfamiliar with regular expressions, one of my most highly rated courses is on regular expressions in JavaScript. So you can check that out using one of the links in the description. All right, let's jump into it. So here's the sample string I want to use. We're going to try to match some data within this string. And then this next variable I've declared, this is the dynamic data. So this can change depending upon user input, depending on maybe something we retrieve from a database, something we retrieve some, from some other data within our program. This part can change. So we need to figure out how to include this in a regular expression that will work. Now, when I first started looking at this problem, this is the type of thing I tried to do. Let's see, dynamic regex is what I'm gonna call it. And so, I tried to use a template string, whoops, a template string in JavaScript and then surrounded with the slashes that are used to define a regular expression. And then inside of that is where I did the string interpolation um, for JavaScript. This is where we're able to, in a template string, we're able to take some variable data, in this case we just have a variable, but some variable data and convert it to the actual data that's inside of that. So this type of thing, all right? That's what I thought would work at first, okay? Now, how are we gonna go about testing that? Well, I'm just gonna do a simple statement of result equals that dynamic regex dot test. I'm just going to do a test, which returns either true or false if there is a match. If there's, if there's a match, it's true. If, there, if there's not, it returns false. Okay. Well, you'll find as I save this and we come out here to the console and then I refresh it, you'll find we don't even get as far as looking at the result variable because we get an error. It's basically telling me test is not a function because it does not see this as a regular expression. And so when I try to use the test method on it, it says, well, that's not a function. We can't use that. This is no regular expression here. So I tried a lot of different techniques of escaping data and whatnot using this. I thought there has got to be a way to make it work this way, but I never could. And I've read some others that have said, you cannot do it this way. You have to create a regular expression object using the regular expression constructor. That is the way you're able to do string interpolation inside of a regular expression. So we cannot use this, so I'm going to comment that out. So here's the way we use the regular expression constructor. I'm just gonna do the same thing here, and but this time we're gonna use the constructor right there. And with the constructor, we pass in what we want that regular expression to be. Now, this could be very complex. This could be part of some loop where you're building that regular expression. I'm just doing a very simple example of this, but don't let, this, let the simple example limit what you could do with creating a dynamic regular expression. 
And so inside of here, that is where I would put the template string. All right. And then we're going to retrieve that variable. What's inside that variable? And now when we save this and jump out and refresh, we're not getting the error and we can look at the result variable and it returns true. So it did get a match. And just to show this is dynamic, we can change this. Let's change it to in. See if we can find how many ins are inside of that or find if there is a match. We're not gonna get how many unless we use something like uh, the match keyword or the match method. I should say the match method with strings, the exec method if we're doing it on a regular expression object like this. So here we go. Let's see what we get. Take a look at results. And we're seeing the match. So basically you can see that is working for us. And we're able to create a dyn dynamic regular expression by using the regular expression constructor. That is the trick. All right, please hit the like button and subscribe. And remember the discount links to all my courses in the description section. Click the bell button to be notified about new releases. I try to release tutorials as often as I can. And once again, thanks for watching.